Autobots more than meets the eye. Autobots waits their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us. For this special figure showcase, we're going to be looking at the 1988 Series 5 Autobot hose head. What we're going to do with this video, we're going to have a look at him in both of his modes, and that'll help you decide how you want to display him. I'll show you all the accessories that come with him if you're looking to complete him. I'll point out things that you need to be aware of, both on the figure and funnily enough with the box, if you have to complete him one and ready to display it yourself. And as I'm lucky enough to have one in packaging, we can have a look at the artwork and the battle scenes on the back of that. Before we get started, I'd just like to ask anybody who's not subscribed to the channel to hit that subscribe button for me now, please, because it really will help this channel out a lot. Okay then, here he is. He is the 1988 Junior Headmaster hose head. Um, and the Junior Headmasters came out a year later than the standard Headmasters. And the clues in the title, with it being Junior, it just meant that their Headmaster was much smaller. And it just meant that they lost the articulation in the arms, which the, um, the other headmasters did. You've got still the movement in the legs. You can fold that up. But because they're so small as well, there's no flap to fold up to cover the face. So very, very basic little partners there. As I say, his name is Lug. There he is. And let's have a look at the robot mode then. So you haven't really got much articulation. You've got the shoulders, which you can just spin all the way around. The hands just retract, so there's no real movement there. And unfortunately, the legs, as you can see quite clearly, are just stuck together. Great big brick, all stuck in place. But I think he still looks really good. I mean, granted, you can't do many poses with him, but I still think that he displays very, very well. Colour scheme's brilliant. Obviously, bright red with it being a fire engine. It works a treat. Um, with regards to the accessories, he's got a gun, oh, which is this one. Let's have a look at this. And that's quite a different gun, actually, to be fair. You don't really see many guns like that. And that fits, obviously, in his hand. And then what we've got is you've got the top of the helmet, which doubles up as a seat. And I'll show you that in a second in the alternate mode. And then you've got these two guns. And to be honest, looking at that, they might be the wrong way around. But that's the beauty of it, that you can literally display it in any mode. And to be honest, I think that's how I've seen it displayed in the past. So I've just corrected that myself. Before we have a quick look at it put back on, I'm going to be nice and careful. This is something to be aware of as well with the chest thieves. The chest plates, they tend to get damaged. They can actually break off. And this is how the headmaster gimmick works. Just literally slot him in. Now, the only difference again between this and the larger headmasters is there's just one notch to push down. So all these are preset. So it doesn't matter which headmaster you get, you just push it in and you'll get that reading. So you could put Nightbeat's head in here if you wanted, you'd get exactly the same reading because there's just one barrel that you push down. But it still looks quite cool. Obviously be aware that the chest flap on a lot of these tends to get broken quite easily. Stickers on here look quite good. Obviously be just bright red if you didn't have that at all. And as I've just said, the helmet will then of course fit on top of this like so. I think that obviously makes him look a lot, lot better. Okay, let's have a look at his alternate mode then. So his alternate mode is a fire engine. Granted, I've not seen one of these anywhere myself, not in this particular shape anyway. And it's got retractable ladder and a hose as well. So you can push that out. Well, not retractable, it's more fold out, isn't it? But it's still a good little bit of play value added to the um, alternate mode. Now there's a space in there where you can then take, which we've just seen it as a helmet, Whereas if I turn it this way around and slot it into place, it's now a seat. And then of course you can take the other junior head, you can take the head and then this will just slot and sit inside there. Like so. Rather strange place to have the driver, but that's what you can do with him. It also means that you're not going to lose him because you can't really put him in the cab. You can put him under there and then he, and he just falls out. You might be able to get him in, but he'll just, he'll just fall out. So it's much safer to have him sitting in the back like so you can see that the wheels have got a bit of metal obviously holding them all together so you can get a bit of corrosion there but otherwise it's a sturdy robust and it's quite a good looking toy to be fair as it, it, it really does look quite good we're going to move on to the packaging and this is something that i wanted to make you aware of um i've not done this on the video yet but that's because i haven't really been able to so i've got another box here and then I've, this has got the inner bubble 
Now, obviously the inner bubbles are really important when it comes to displaying um, your figures, but there's two pieces to this bubble. So not only have you got the bubble that sits in there, if I was to now just put the headmaster in by himself, you can see where obviously he's going to fit right there. He would just drop down. So what you need to look out for, if you're buying a box or you want to display, is the additional little bubble inside. So you can fit the headmaster onto that, like so. So he sits inside there. And then of course this will sit, I'm gonna to have to do it quickly off camera, this will sit inside the bubble to make it display much better. It's just, some people really, really like it. And I'm starting to get asked a lot of questions now by people who are upgrading their collections, moving into boxed, moving into sealed maybe. It's just something to be aware of. You can see now that that obviously displays absolutely perfect. Same as in the sealed one there. So if you haven't got that extra bit of the bubble at the back, he won't sit there. The inner, obviously the, the small headmaster will roll all over the place. Right, so here is the box and you may notice straight away, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's the artwork on it. You've got white legs, white chest plates, and a white helmet instead of the gray, which is the actual figure. Um, and funnily enough, this figure is also released in Japan and his name is Cab and he's identical in Japan as well. So it's not even as if they've used the mold for different colors in a different country. Um, I'm lucky enough, obviously, that this one's graded. We just have a quick look at the transformation at the top. Again, you've still got the different colors. It looks like all the pre-production parts of the gray were actually gonna be white. And then if we spin it round, I just mentioned he's got a release in Japan and he's called Cab. We know this as just the Power, um, Power Masters and Pretender artwork. But in Japan, there was a cartoon running at exactly the same time called Super God Master Force. Brilliant cartoon. You should check it out if you've not seen it. And um, yeah, this is the artwork for there. So that looks like Optimus Prime to us, but his name is Jinrai. And the pretenders play a huge, huge role. And so do the small junior headmasters in that cartoon. So a great piece of artwork. And I also mentioned about the fact, obviously, that his mould stays exactly the same. Some of the other junior headmasters, um, the moulds are reused for the for other characters so like the very very rare minerva but there we go there is hose head there he is in both of his modes there he is with as i say the additional bubble i just thought i'd add that bit i get asked quite a few questions regarding that so people again we've all got different types of collections how we collect it etc etc some I started off with everything loose. I just started off with getting everything loose because that's what I wanted. And then before you know it, you're upgrading to get complete and then boxed, etc. I think it's just, obviously it's the collector's preference, but I think it's just how most collections end up going. So that's why I put that in. So I hope it was useful to some people. Granted, it probably wasn't to most, but there you go. Just be aware if you're looking to get boxed and complete ones that they do have all the bits inside them. So let's round it up. 1988 Series 5 Junior Headmaster Hosehead. I hope you enjoyed looking at him. Um, I hope it brought back some nice memories if you had him as a child. And yeah, if you're looking to complete one yourself, then you know which bit you're after. So thank you very much for watching and take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.